Well, today's a really exciting day for us, for everyone involved in the prize. So this is the day where we not only get to celebrate all of our finalists who have been on an incredible journey and put in so much effort to the prize, but we also get to announce and find out who the winner is. What the Challenge Prize has done is to throw a question out to Essex as a whole and look for people who are close to the issue of social isolation and loneliness and ask them to come forward with ideas about how best to solve it. So what's most impressed me is, uh, one, the number of ideas that came forward. We had 50 from all over the county and secondly, the tenacity of uh, those people and organisations to come forward with innovative ideas to tackle this problem. It was extremely exciting when we heard that we were chosen as one of the finalists. Um, as for us, it was quite important to be able to uh, test our idea in a new area uh, where we are not actually present at the moment. It's great to be in the room with all the finalists together and find out how they've done, I guess, over the pilot programme. It's been really good. It's been a challenge like, to sort of get it all together within three months, but a um, really supportive team from Essex helping us. What's really impressed me about the applicants for the Families Included Prize is the diverse ideas that have come through to help families who are struggling in terms of isolation or loneliness. And you know what? The work that's been put in by the, the final um, eight was absolutely incredible. I was blown away by the quality of the work and their ideas. Absolutely superb. And actually what came through in the presentations was the passion of so many people to try and improve the lives of their local communities. There has to be a winner and I'll be announcing the winners in about 15 minutes time. But the experience itself, it was so um, uh, rewarding to see initiatives, new initiatives, some that have been developed from existing styles and models, but actually thinking outside the box and looking at social isolation, which is important. So after much time, much enthusiasm, all your work, the winners are Mum and Families, Claire and Heather. It's amazing, I can't believe it. <laughs> Unbelievable, just, yeah, speechless really. Yeah, overwhelmed. <laughs> Winning something like this, it's just going to give us so much more credibility in what we what we try to do. Um, hopefully be able to reach even more mums and families across Essex um, and just help us to grow and go from strength to strength. And the runner-up with a prize of £5,000 is Interactive Family Dance, Gemma. Winning this money means that we can get going on the project again um, and bring the programme back to the families in Harlow, so I'm really excited. Essex County Council don't have all the ideas. A lot of the good thoughts, good innovations are with the, in the population we serve. Somehow we need to tap into that. We need to recognise people's potential and enable them to sort of uh, find solutions to the problems that really affects them. Uh, and Challenge Prize is one innovative way of doing it that we're very keen to embrace and develop further. What you've got here today may well be the beginning of a very big initiative that actually makes people nationally famous. These are really important for Essex County Councils because it's a chance for the Essex resident, whoever you are, to think of a great idea, an innovative idea that could make a difference to the place where you live. I can't think of anything more exciting than that for a resident. For anyone considering taking part in any challenge like this, definitely go for it. 